Happy Monday morning, everybody. Kids are dropped off at school. I'm heading to get Justin now. We're gonna head out to the job site. Um, insulators are supposed to be back out today to put the bats in the walls. We are gonna do the framing for the ceiling, do some blocking around the garage door hardware and brackets, all that. Uh, just kind of see how far we get today and go from there. Let's roll. All right, so this is the PAS load positive placement nailer. Model number is CF150-PP. So it's a pretty sweet little nailer. Ah, I can get the nails out of here to show you. There we go. So it just shoots these little guys, little inch and a half steel connector nails, basically. So I'll show you here in a second, but this gun is specifically made for say like joist hangers or steel straps. Um, anything that has like a pre-drilled or cast hole in it for a fastener to go into, instead of either hand nailing those off or setting a screw and driving them in with an impact, you just place this little pin right in that slot. And when you squeeze the trigger, that pin pushes up out of place and the nail shoots right into position. So I'm gonna strap the GoPro to my head and we're gonna see how she works. So it looks like we maybe ran out of staples, my bad. But what Justin's doing here is we still need this whole attic space to be able to vent. So what we're doing is uh, each of those ribs there is open to the outside. So that's where our air is coming into the building. But we need to block that off so when we do blowing insulation into the attic. Uh, we don't want to fill in those ribs with insulation and stop the airflow from going up. So what we're doing is stapling across the bottom there and then stretching the sheet up and stapling along all of those purlins there. And that kind of gives us some protection to keep those ribs open and allow that air to continue flowing up and out the ridge band. All right, that's it for today. Everything's looking pretty good. We got some cross braces put in. There's gonna be a, a light centered on each of those. So there's two runs of four, eight of them through the whole place. You can't see it, of course, but it's that light right there. We hung one up just for a joke. Um, it's these these high base shop lights they are crazy bright this is only 10 foot ceilings in here so it's a little bit low but when the walls are white and the ceilings white and there are eight of those in here it's going to be crazy bright which is exactly what the client wants so we are moving forward electricians here tomorrow to rough in and then we'll be putting up vapor barrier on the ceiling the day after, hopefully. And then, fingers crossed that the steel shows up on Thursday and we can be out here late Thursday or Friday starting to put that in. And then we'll get the insulators back to do blowing in the attic and home free. All right. Back out here. Justin, the other day, put up 
that air channel up there he's putting putting it up now on the other side over there we had to get all the work lights out because we don't have power in here anymore but all the electrics roughed in so we're good to go once we're done doing the channels over there then we're going to do six mil poly on the whole ceiling That's what we gotta do for these tool reviews. Go around. Yeah. Just beat the absolute crap out of them. It still works. You should buy one. It's a little dark in here now. 
took all the lights down, but we got the vapor barrier all up. Have to go around some garage door hardware, which is always fun, but personally, I always prefer to go around that stuff versus take it down and then put it back up. Got some good wrinkles in it. She's not flat, but she will do. So we need to, uh, we need to get the steel to really do anything else here. So we're, we're done. Uh, the, the steel is supposed to maybe be here on, on Thursday, tomorrow. But more than likely, it's not gonna be here probably until, until Tuesday. So we'll see, hopefully, Hopefully we can get out here pretty quick. On on Monday we're going, we'll be doing a demo of a bathroom, tiny bit of drywall work, so we won't be back here beginning of the week, but at some point next week we'll be back to do steel.